So let us look at this question, part A. Find the angle between CD and D. So let me draw that very fast. Part A. Uh, let me try to. Okay. So we have that diagram there, and they are saying that this is A, F, D, B, H, C and then D, 10 centimeters, five centimeters, and three centimeters. Okay, so what are they saying? Find the, find the line, the angle between C, D, C, and D. So we draw a dotted line between C and D. Okay, dotted line C, D, and D, E. Where is D? D is here and E, where is E? Where is E? Where is E? E is here and E is there. So the angle between is this and that. So what we are going to do is we are going to move B, E onto this. Cynthia, are you saying something? Okay, we are going to move B, E onto this. So to do that, I'm going to move this B. E to C H so such that now I have my D here and I'll have my E there. Are we, are we together? So I'm going to move this line B E there such that it meets this line C D. So that means that D E will be here. So when I know that this is 90 D degrees. So I can draw that right angle the triangle. I tracked out this right angle the tra this right angle the triangle. So let me draw it. Draw it like this. Okay. Okay, I know this is now. This is now E. Put E there. Are we together? I'll put here, I'll put D here, I'll put D here. So this is three centimeters, this is five centimeters. So they want me to get to the angle between DE and CH, and this is the angle they want. So from there, I can use tan theta. Tan theta equals two. So tan theta is equal to, from that case, tan theta is equal to three divided by five, and theta equals to the tan inverse of three, over five. So theta is equal to what's the answer, members? Anyone who has the answer? Cynthia, I'm not hearing you. Cynthia, you are talking, I'm not hearing you. I don't know why. Cynthia, I'm not hearing you. Alexandria, what's the answer? There's a problem with my speech. 30.10. Okay, now I hear you. So what's the answer, uh, Alexandria? 30.10. It is? 30.10. 30.10. So 30 points. 30 point 10. So we have 30.96. So we can round off here. 30.10. 30 
So 30.1. You get 30. If you add here, you get 10, isn't it? You get 10. Yeah. So add one, so it becomes 31 degrees. So the answer is 31 degrees. Are we together? Thirty point one. The answer is part one because we round off here. If we add one here, we get ten. So ten, you carry one, so it becomes part one. It's part one degrees. Okay. Last to the part B. The part B find the find the angle between F the angle between FG FG and db so this is b e f g and d b so what we are going to do this is db that they are talking about here and this is f g this is f g so they want to, what we are going to do is we are going to shift to this line db we are going to shift it onto onto what Members, can you speak up? We are going to shift to the line. <laughs> On two. Um. Yes, On two. Huh? Patricia, can you say something? <laughs> okay, so we are going to shift to the line DB onto D onto FD. So onto EB. So we shift to this line DB onto. So here we shall have our line D and our line D here. Like that. Such that now what we are seeing is that db has made fg to this point here so d which was here we shifted there and b which was here we shifted here such that we have db here and it has made it has coincided with d at this point so the angle they want is this angle here. So there, what you do is, now you draw this triangle here. You know when I was seeing that triangle, you draw that triangle. And then, I'm going to leave you with this question. So members, you are going to proceed from here and find this is B, this is B, where E was, this is B where D. This is B where D was, and this is so we have. I've tried to shift those two. So this is the right angle this triangle I'm talking about. This one here. So this is F. At this point, this is F. Angle. So this was B, D, uh, B, D here. So I've shifted it here. So the angle they want is the angle which is here. So we know that if this is three centimeters, I said it is three centimeters. And if this is ten, this is ten also. And also this one is ten. Also this one is ten. So this is also ten centimeters. So from there, it means that also, if this is 10, also it means that this is 10. So what about BF? So BF, what's, what's the side of BF? So if this is 3, this is also 3 centimeters. This is 3. It means that also this is three. FD is also three.
So I'll put here three centi. So find for me theta in that space, and then if you get theta, you'll be a happy student. All right. So you check you can see the answer that we got was theta one, which is correct. So prove prove that it is 16.7, that this angle is 16.7, prove it out. And once you do that, you get the answer. So I leave you with an exercise. Let me give you exercise number one. You do for me number one, and you give me the answer. You go to the website, under notes, so I make sure you under notes, you look for book three, and book three will be, yeah. you look for book three, which is book three, and you download it. Are we together? Yes. You go to you go to three dimension. So you look for three dimension. You open the book and you look for three dimension. And once you click on three dimension, you will be able to go to that exercise. So thank you for attending. We meet next time. Right now. You can end this and then we go to go and attend the chemistry lesson. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye.